This may be one of my favorite shows that we've ever done, and we've done hundreds and hundreds of them. There is just so much action going on. You can smell Wes cooking up a storm in the kitchen with our, our Twitter contest. Uh, Freddie Prinze, uh, hysterical. And this uh, next thing we're going to talk about now is my favorite thing on YouTube. There's a YouTube video by a bunch of high school students that has everybody on the internet talking about it. I was absolutely blown away when I saw it, but we all had one huge question here at the show. How did they do that? You're going to think the same thing, is you're not going to believe this. Check this out. What I want you got there might be hard to At first, this looks like any other homemade music video. But look a little closer. Objects are flying through the air backwards, but at the same time, kids seem to be walking forward. These are the creative kids at Shorewood High School, and they took a class project to a whole new level. They created this amazing effect by shooting the video backwards. As the video camera rolled, kids walked backwards, lip synced to a song backwards, and then they played it in reverse. I know it sounds confusing, but it's really impressive. So we asked the kids to show us exactly how they did it. Did you, did you end up? Lip dubbing is lip syncing to a song on video in one continuous shot. The whole lip dub idea started. Um, with our crosstown rivals, the, the Shorecrest High School. So they did their own lip dub video and then challenged us, and we wanted to outdo them. So Javier and I decided that we would do our lip dub video backwards. Definitely the biggest challenge was the lyrics, learning the lyrics backwards. It took a lot of time to spend hours and hours listening to the song, reversing it. Then we couldn't hear it right because once you reverse the song, the instruments sound weird. So they figured out a solution. They filmed themselves singing it forward, then watched it in reverse to come up with the correct sounds for those lip movements. You actually have to come up with different syllables, different consonants and vowels to make it look like you're saying a word backwards. Er, mag schmiert kamiyamu. So, you make my dreams come true. Erk schmack schmiert kamiyam ui. So, true is not actually yurt, it's erk. It, for some reason, it just looks better. You make my dreams come true. Learning how to lip sync an entire song backwards was just step one to beat the competition. Now, they had to choreograph the video to be one continuous shot, which means they hit the record button and didn't stop until they hit the last note. To do this, the class broke up into groups and mapped out their route through campus. Each of my uh, video production student groups were in charge of those locations and make sure that everybody was in the, in the right place, um, had the right materials like paper airplanes and signs and crumpled paper and, and balloons. Um, so it took a lot of organization. And after many rehearsals, finally they were ready to shoot. Okay, shh. absolute quiet. We only have uh, one period to shoot the whole video. If we mess that up, we have to do it all over again. We ended up shooting a total of six takes. We ended up going with the fourth one. So these guys lip synced the song backwards while walking backwards and then played the video in reverse to match it up with the song. Over 625,000 YouTube views later, the Shorewood Kids became an internet sensation. It blew up. We always hoped that it would go viral, and it did. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It really speaks volumes to the hard work um, that my students put into this project, and I couldn't be prouder of them. I love it. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. You guys are serious rock stars. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Thank you very much. I mean, brilliant. I want to go back to high school, too, and I want to be in your class. <laughs> uh, how long was the pre-production on this? Well, once we figured out what the song was going to be, it took us about two and a half weeks um, to, to get it all together. Man, and, that would uh, take me two and a half years. It's yeah. so brilliant, honestly. Yeah. And I am an enormous Hall & Oates fan. We all are here at our show. So Hall & Oates were here, and they yeah. did um, like a storyteller thing. Yeah. And, you know, we put up a petition on our website to try and get them into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Saw that. How did you pick the song? 
Well, uh, I came back from watching the movie 500 Days of Summer, and there's some musical oh, yes. scenes there, and I just loved it. And uh, the song just seemed to fit perfectly. I mean, it's a beat, it's uh, happy, and the message of it. Uh, are you going to go into filmmaking, by the way? Yes, I was actually planning uh, to go, but it was a dream, but now it actually it, it seems like it might be possible that I... Man, I, you got to. It's just... He's very talented. I mean, uh, amazing, amazingly talented. Yeah. I mean, you must be so proud. I have never been prouder. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, he's just, uh, he's got this creativity that um, is just, it's bottomless. And, uh, uh, yeah, he... Uh, he was uh, a lot of the force behind, the creative force behind this. Uh, I gotta say, case, I'm so, so thrilled that there are teachers like you out there in the world today. Well, thank you. Thanks. Priceless. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, we thought it'd be kind of fun to send out a couple of flip cameras to kind of uh, flip, the, flip the tables on you guys. We oh, sent some flip cams to a couple of fans of yours. Uh, let's see what they sent in. Let's check <laughs> this out. To all the kids at Shorewood, that is the most incredible video I've ever seen. People have emailed me from all over the world about that. So, uh, very cool. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, Rachel, and all you Shorewood students, amazing video. I don't know how you guys pulled off that backwards thing, but it's really cool. So you look, you guys look like a school full of friends, by the way. So uh, feel free to use any of our songs anytime you want to. See you all later. Is that amazing? That's awesome. That's very cool. This is why I love. These are quality men, gentlemen, true gentlemen. We love Hall & Oates here. They sent out one other little surprise. Come on, guys, bring it out. We're going to send this back so oh, that wow. it doesn't have to go. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so you can hang Thank it in the school. Wow, that's great. Isn't that fantastic? That is fantastic. Very cool. A framed personal thank you note from them for the school. Isn't that gorgeous? And they also sent in, do what you want, be what you are. This is a huge four disc box set with a 60 page book. It's like, I don't know, around 50 bucks if you went to buy it retail. They sent one for everybody here. <laughs> Enough for the whole class. Plus, plus, it's also a snack of the daytime if it wasn't enough. God, it's just like a big teddy bear hug, this whole show. It's also organic gummy bear day. <laughs> it's the best episode we've ever done. Um, this is organic gummy bears from Yummy Earth in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Thank you to the Yummy Earth people. Uh, we're gonna go check it on West. That's up next.